A few weeks ago, I had the honor of presenting the latest evolution of the NetApp Cloud portfolio to a field of delegates in person for the first time in over two years. The banter, conversation, and questions were all so good that I ran out of time and had to rush through to the end and feel like I didn't get an opportunity to go over what I view as use cases, the different types of cloud practitioners, and how certain portions of our portfolio can be leveraged by each of them. So let's take each of them on, one by one, and then I'll make a separate full demo video showing the deployment of FSX ONTAP via Cloud cloud formation templates and adding it to NetApp Cloud Manager. Sound good? First things first, in these next few videos, I want to revisit the final three slides of the Cloud Field Day 13 presentation. As I went through the portfolio of products and services outlining their capabilities, the intention was to tie it all together, mapping them to different types of practitioners and which products that they should specifically be paying close attention to, or in my view, the tools that they could extract the most value from. I wanted everyone to leave that presentation with a completely different viewpoint of NetApp and deploying apps and traditional back office IT workloads in the cloud. Now, if you missed it and have no idea what any of these products do, I'll leave a link to the full presentation down in the description for you. And just know that anything that I presented is also on full display over at cloud.netapp.com with more info, demos, and free trials available. If you have any questions, please do leave them down in the comments or hey, come join the NetApp Discord community where we have tons of staff and experts ready to help you navigate the vast and growing portfolio here at NetApp. So let's start at the top and work our way down the stack. And by the top, I mean cloud native, born in the cloud users that focus on cost and performance optimizations for their workloads. This is where you find those with responsibilities around cloud ops and DevOps, such as developers and data scientists. Your duties likely include things like delivering insights and applications faster while ensuring portability to other clouds in order to scale and optimize costs. This is where we see the NetApp Cloud portfolio really start to shine and stand out, offering something completely different than what we're more traditionally known for. As modern applications are built on Kubernetes, there still needs to be oversight of that underlying infrastructure to support, maintain, and protect them. But that's not something the modern cloud operator really wants to deal with, right? They want to write code and they want to deploy apps. The Spot by NetApp portfolio contains a suite of products that can help automate deployments and optimize costs at every tier of the application stack. In this specific use case, I want to talk about Spot Ocean. I'll have other videos in the future that cover each of these in deep detail, but just know that the true value of Spot is realized in its ability to automate and even relocate deployments to reserved in Spot instances in the cloud. How? Well, <laughs> There's a lot of detail to cover there, so I'll tell you what, we'll save that for a future video. If you'd like to know more, head over to spot.io and take it for a test drive. The short version is that Spot Ocean places an operator into your cluster, and that analyzes load and communicates with the platform to automate the right sizing of your cluster nodes, and it does this in an ongoing way in order to truly automate scale up and scale out over time. It also does similar work for Spark workloads specifically, but Ocean for Apache Spark does some additional deep inspection and auto-tuning on your Jupyter Notebooks. Hell, you can even apply your own security and data privacy best practices by deploying in your cloud account in your VPCs. This should not be understated as it gives you immense portability between regions and even cloud providers. In addition, you can bring your own tools by integrating your Jupyter Notebooks, IDEs, and schedulers into the platform. All of this allows data scientists and more to focus on their apps not the underlying cloud infrastructure. And here's the big button. You'll never get a bill from us unless Spot saves you money. That's how much we believe in it. So we bet the business on it. It will be a wonderful experience that can save you upwards of 80 to 90% of your cloud costs that you would normally incur by manually provisioning on-demand instances, all by simply allowing Spot to automate and manage your apps. But it's not all about optimization. When you put multi-tier mission critical applications in the cloud, Surprise! You still need persistent storage for those stateful apps and the ability to protect and clone those workloads. All those things don't just magically happen by themselves just by virtue of you putting them in the cloud. Luckily, we have a way to automate that for you as well. This is where NetApp Astra comes into play. The Astra suite provides tools to connect to underlying NetApp cloud storage in order to provide enterprise class storage facilities to your apps and workloads, giving you an automated and managed control plane to facilitate snapshots, backups, and fully cloned stacks for dev test. And using Astra Trident as your storage class in your clusters allows you to access underlying NetApp managed storage services in the cloud, providing you that level of persistent data storage for your apps built on the world's number one storage operating system, 
on tap. This is our bread and butter, and we've been protecting large enterprise applications and databases for decades using our Snap Manager products and eventually tying them all together with Snap Center. So trust that we absolutely know how to take care of your workloads in the cloud as well. As a teaser, what if I told you we could deploy a pod of storage into your Kubernetes cluster to act as local or edge storage for applications within that cluster? Well, that's called Astra Data Store, and it's in public preview right now. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can sign up to be a part of the preview. Speaking of storage, we'll start going deeper into that in the next videos, but let's quickly go over those as they act as the foundational element of a lot of everything else we've been talking Talking about in this video. For a deeper dive, you can check out last year's new NetApp video where I go over each of them in detail, but I also covered a more updated version of them in the Cloud Field Day presentation as well. The big thing to take away is that we now have managed versions of ONTAP available in all three cloud providers. And by managed, I mean you just create volumes and mount them to your workloads. That's it. No arrays to manage, no storage system to configure. In Azure, this service is called Azure NetApp Files. In Google Cloud, it's Cloud Volume Service. And in AWS, it's Amazon FSx for ONTAP. For the rest, we'll save that for the next video as we're going to start moving down the stack into some additional infrastructure context. And there's no way I could do the entire Spot portfolio justice in a single video, but the point of this one was just to make you aware of Spot and who I think would find value in using it. If you're a developer or cloud operator, these are tools that you need to know you have at your disposal if you don't already. In the next couple of videos in this series, we're going to discuss both operations in the cloud, such as migrations and consolidation of data. And in the third, we're going to talk about some of the deeper infrastructure topics, such as data management, backup, DR, and more. So make sure you subscribe and have your notifications on so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.